Hi there! Welcome back to my channel, Liz's Letters. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this fun, colorful, spiral pinwheel background for your hand lettering. It's a great design to write meaningful, inspirational, or even silly words or quotes inside of. To create the pinwheel, you will need several colorful brush pens, preferably ones with larger nibs or tips, like these Ecoline brush pens or Tombow dual brush pens. The pinwheel that I'll be making will be a rainbow, but feel free to choose whatever colors you want. You'll also need something that can help you make a circle, like a circular object that you can trace, or a compass, which can help you make circles of different sizes. The completed pinwheel might look pretty complex, but the basic technique is actually pretty simple. Each spoke of the pinwheel is made in the same manner, by lining up the brush tip with the edge of the circle you've drawn, and pressing down hard while gradually lifting up your brush pen to give the stroke a tapered look. To make the spokes curved, rather than straight, I leave this part of my hand on the paper and rotate my wrist. This creates a circular motion of the brush tip around my hand. You can create shorter strokes by lifting your brush pen from the paper sooner. By changing the position of this part of your hand in relation to the edge of the circle, you can change the angle of the spokes coming out of the circle. For example, if I rest my hand at a point that is closer to the center of the circle and further from the outside of the circle, the spoke of the pinwheel will more closely follow the curvature of the circle. But, if I rest my hand at a point that is closer to the outside of the circle, the pinwheel spokes will come out of the circle closer to a 90 degree angle, like this. Here you can see that just by changing where my hand was placed, I dramatically changed the angle of the pinwheel spokes. Feel free to make the angle of your pinwheel spokes whatever you want. This is your pinwheel, so do what feels right for you. There are no rules. Just make sure that all of the spokes of the pinwheel come out of the circle at a similar angle to one another, so that they're not crossing each other. I write with my right hand, but a lot of people are lefties, and if you are a lefty, the spokes of your pinwheel will be in the opposite direction because your hand rotates in the other direction. Once you've drawn the spokes of the pinwheel, you can feel free to leave them as they are, or you can color in the space between the spokes and the circle to give it a smoother look. Now that you're familiar with the basics, let's draw a circle in the center of a clean sheet of paper and begin creating a unique pinwheel. If you'd like, you can outline your circle with a fine liner, but you don't have to. I chose a random point on the circle to make my very first spoke. Notice how I made a circular motion and lifted my brush pen before it got to the edge of the paper, and then I'm going back in and coloring the space between the spoke and the circle. I like the spokes of my pinwheel to be very close to one another so that there is no white space between them, so I line up my brush pen so that the very tip is touching the spoke next to it. You can choose to make the spokes of your pinwheel however close or far from each other you want. Notice how I continue to color in the space between the spoke and the circle as I go along, but again you don't have to do this if you don't want to. In this rainbow pinwheel, I decided to use several different shades of each color to give it a more dynamic look. You can choose to use as many colors as you want. You can even alternate between two or three different colors, or make a fun repeating pattern with several colors. You may have noticed that I'm also varying the length of the spokes. Some are shorter and some are longer. You can do this if you'd like, or you can keep the length of your spokes all the same. Once you've finished going around the entire circle, you can check to see if there are any changes you'd like to make. For example, I'm choosing to fill in this large gap here with a brush pen of a similar color. If you see that one area of the pinwheel has shorter spokes than the rest of the circle, no worries. You can just go back over a couple of the spokes with the original colors and elongate them like I've done here. Don't be afraid to go back in with a brush pen and fill in or touch up certain areas. Once you're satisfied with your design, you can go back and erase any pencil markings that are showing. In this piece, I decided to thicken the inner circle with a small black Tombow Fudonosuke brush pen. I wanted to make the inner circle more defined and give the piece a lot of contrast. If you want, you can use a white gel pen, colored pencils, or metallic paint pens to draw designs on the spokes to give your pinwheel your own unique touch. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you feel inspired to go out and create your own colorful pinwheel. 
When you post your pinwheel artwork on Instagram, make sure you use the hashtag brush pen pinwheel. Also make sure to tag my account at Lissa's underscore letters so I can see what you've created. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more fun hand lettering videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.